Mill Creek City leaders are now one step closer to breaking ground on a new city center. ABC4's Jason Wynn shows us what residents can expect now that boundary changes have been worked out between Salt Lake City and Mill Creek. In less than three years, Mill Creek is exploding in growth with development and people moving in. Now we're good to go. A new boundary agreement between Mill Creek and Salt Lake City will put the new city center between 1300 East and Highland Drive between Elgin Avenue and 3300 South. I think that that space is actually going to be something that's very different from what people have in Utah, a plaza that is programmed all year round with, with lots of activities um, that uh, will draw people to that area. Starting on 13th East and Miller Avenue, everything that you see behind me will become a park. And the main reason for that is it's on a fault line. It's owned by a guy named Heger. To the east and west of the park will be mixed use buildings residents can work, play and live in. We've also heard that people want to keep the businesses local and friendly, they're, that they're more interested in local businesses than national chains. So we are we're hearing that and, and, and our economic development people are working on that. The city says resident surveys indicate they want to name the area Mill Creek Commons and keep it free from vehicle traffic. We are planning on being walkable and bikeable and a place that, that people of all ages want to come. The city is still working on finalizing a few property deals to move businesses out of the area. The mayor says residents shouldn't worry about a tax increase because of the boundary deal with Salt Lake City. We get to keep any in, increased tax dollars that flow from that area, but we, we, we assessed what that was generating for Salt Lake City. It's $61,000 a year. Part of the deal allows the city to renovate the roundabout off 2300 East and I-80 with new signage welcoming folks to Mill Creek and its local community for generations to come. I'm Jason Wynn, ABC4 News.